Okay, in this video we're going to look at average growth rate, interpolation and extrapolation. In example one, we're just going to try and understand what these words mean and do some calculations. In example two, I mainly want you to try that yourself. Now I'm going to go through everything in example two, but, but by this point, with, after you understand what these words mean, how to do things, in example two I want you to try to do most of this yourself. Okay, and we'll do lots of calculations with example two. Okay, so let's start with this example one. And here's a couple of years and the enrollment in a school or a college, right? So, year 2000 enroll enrollment was 1,000 students. Year 2003 enrollment was uh, 1,300 students. Can you estimate, just based on that, if that's all you knew, you don't know anything else, just take a quick guess and what would be a good guess or a good estimate for the enrollment in 2001? Just write it down. What do you think? It's a thousand students in the year 2000 and it goes all the way up to 1300 students in the year 2003. So 2001, what do you think? And what about 2002? What would the enrollment be in these years? Take a guess. So the years go 2000, 2001, 2002, 2003. And it's gone from 1000 to 1300. Any idea? Well, you might guess like that you might guess that it went up gradually each year. So just take a quick estimate, you might guess, well, there may have been 1,100 students in the year 2001, and then there may have been 1,200 in 2002, and then it just went up gradually to 1,300. That's, you know, just a quick, and then that could be completely wrong, but, but I mean, based on this data, it's probably your best guess. Does that make sense? So, um, basically, one way of guessing is um, doing this thing here, uh, <laughs> And, and 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 how we kind of do that is uh, we go okay from a thousand to thirteen um, hundred. That's an extra three hundred students. Okay, and how many years is that? That's three years. So if I take that uh, three hundred students, right? Oh, and divide it by the three years. I'll get it's like an average of an extra 100 students per year. Okay, and then I'll use use that to estimate the the years in between 2001 2002. Right. So just for fun, what about if in 2008 there was 1,550 students? Okay. So, can you give an estimate? Estimate the enrollment in, um, let's say, two thousand and four. So, what we're going to do is just look that in two thousand and three you had thirteen hundred, two thousand eight you had fifteen hundred and fifty, and just kind of just look at these two dates, and you kind of think, well from 2003 to 2008 it did increase didn't it the enrollment increased and you might think well you know what's the kind of average increase over those how many years five years right so you might go okay that's five years and it increased by how much enrollment altogether so like the absolute change or the absolute increase was this minus this. If you take this and subtract this, you get 250. So it went up 250 altogether. 250 students in five years, right, is an extra, that's that one, so this one is an extra 50 students per year, right? An extra 50 per year. So, 2004, what do you think? Well, 2004, you might think, okay, we're starting with 1300, 
and then it's one year after 2003 and it seems like the increase is going up at about an average of 50 so 1300 plus 50 basically which would be 1350 students right that would be a, a good estimate how about 2005 and how about 2007 just give a guess for these dates these years So again, just a quick guess. 2003, we know that was 1300. It the amount is increasing by about 50 per year. 2005 is two years afterwards. So we've got 1300 plus two times 50, right? Which would be 1300 plus 100. 1400 students, right? So you guess 2007. What do you think the answer would be for 2007? So in 2007, you might say, okay, you might just be looking at 2003 and 2008. You might say, okay, 2003, there's 1300. The um, enrollment increased. 2007 is four years later, right? Four years later. So it's been increasing at an average of 50 students per year. And so four years later, four times 50 would be 200. So it's, uh, for a guess, it's probably 1300 plus an extra 200. It's probably 1500, which is just below what it is in 2008, right? So this is just, you know, an educated guess. Like, the enrollment could be anything. We don't know, but, but to give a, a good estimate just based on this these numbers that would be a good estimate right so um, let's see 2008 to 2010 the enrollment stayed at 1550 could you give an estimate for 2009 Let's separate this off Write it down. What would be your estimate? What do you think the enrollment was at in 2009? Take a quick guess. What would be a good estimate? Well, sheesh, if it's at 1550 in 2008 and 1550 in 2010, well, it's probably around 1550 in 2009, right? Yep, you're right. And if you were to calculate the average kind of change, this is also called the growth rate. I mean, it went from 1550 to 1550, it, it went up by zero, you know, it didn't go up at all basically. And that was in, you know, two years. If you were to kind of calculate this average growth rate or average change, of course, it would be an extra zero per year, right? Kind of funny. So that's 2009. Well, how about 2014? Can you give me a guess for 2014? How, what data would you use to guess 2014? Or to estimate 2014? Well, if you look at it, okay, 2010 to 2013, it's, it's gone slightly down. So you would kind of just just based on this table, your best guess would probably be what? That just it might just keep going down slightly, maybe, right? So like when we're guessing just past into the future, we just kind of look at what's been happening recently, because that kind of reflects you know the economy. You know, uh, there's less state funding. You know, enrollment is going down or or you know whatever so um, so we're just to guess a little bit of the future we're just going to use the last two years and the last two years it's gone from 1550 to 1520 and that's down right that's down how much well what you do is 
it's it down negative. It's the enrollment has decreased by thirty, right? And how many years have passed? Twenty ten to twenty thirteen, three years, right? So it's down by thirty in three years. So that's an average drop of ten students per year, negative ten students per year, right? And just so so it, so you're kind of guessing. Well, you know, 2011 it might have been 1540, 2012 might have been 1530, and then gradually you drop to 1520 and 2013. You know, just estimating. So in 2014, what would you guess? Well, 2014, you might guess that it's dropped by. Oh, let's put here. 2014. In uh, 2013, you're at 1520, and the enrollment is decreasing by 10 students per year. This is just one year later, so decreasing by 10, that gives us 1510, right? So that might be a good guess for 2014. Of course, we don't know what it's going to be, but uh, the president of the college might say, if we keep going at this rate, next year we would expect 1520 students, or 10 students, right? So, um, I hope that all made sense. That was just a, 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 a trying to get a nice, nice example. And now to put to to explain these words: average growth rate, interpolation, and extrapolation. Um, when we were guessing, uh, well, well, let, let's start with the average growth rate. I guess if if we do a little table, just do a quick table with time period. and then we'll do average growth rate so the first time period we looked at was the year 2000 to 2003 and we figured that started at 1000 went to 1300 students that was an extra an increase of 300 students in three years and when we divided that we got an increase of 100 students per year on average in this time period so in the time period 2000 to 2003 our average growth rate was 100 students right from 2003 to 2008 What was the average growth rate? Well, it went up by 250 students in five years, so that's about 50 per year, right? So the average growth rate of enrollment was 50 extra students per year on average in this time period, right? So can you so what was the average growth rate for 2008 to 2010? It was. 1550 1550 no students plus zero okay that was the average growth rate it, it didn't grow and 2010 to 13 what was the average growth rate how much did enrollment grow by well it dropped absolutely the absolute change was 30 it dropped by 30 right and in three years right so we divide by three so that was a drop an average of we dropped uh, 10 students per year Right, so average growth rate for this period was negative ten. Okay, so that should ex I hope that makes you under helps you understand what average growth rate is try is is meaning. The average change per year, basically. And um, when we were doing all these guesses, um, a basic let, let's let me put it this way. Let me put it this way. When we guessed twenty fourteen, this was extrapolation. guessing outside of the data we have sorry should have wrote there so this was extrapolation when we guessed 2014 usually guessing into the future sometimes guessing into the past but we're guessing outside of what we've got any of the guesses all the other guesses was called interpolation okay when we estimated the enrollment in in this year and this year and and this year and this year and this year and this year, and this year all this was interpolation okay 
because we were guessing enrollment between 2000 and 2013. But the extrapolation was going into the future, into completely into the unknown. So all of this was interpolation. Okay. Okay, in this example two, we're going I'm gonna give you this table and we're gonna answer three questions. We're going to first um, calculate the average growth rate for each time period there. Then we're going to uh, use interpolation to estimate enrollment in these years. And then we're going to use extrapolation to estimate enrollment in these years. Okay? So um, let's start with the first question. And it is you've got this data, these numbers, and this is the years, and this is the amount of students in a particular school or college. Now the question is for each period shown in the table, that's 96 to 98, 98 to 2000, 2000 to 2002, 2002 to 2003, for each period, calculate the average growth rate per year in enrollment at this college. Would you know how to do that already? So I'll give you one tip anyway. If you make a wee table here and put the time periods and then see if you can calculate the average growth rate. So go ahead and see if you can get the average growth rate for the first time period. And press pause if you need to, if you want to write, write things down and that. Okay, so at the beginning, from 96 to 98, enrollment has gone from 965 to 945. Has enrollment increased or decreased? Is that an increase or a decrease? It's a decrease. So it's not a growth. I mean, it's 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 the it's it's ungrown. It has it has shrunk. Okay, so we can't. It's it's a negative growth, basically. You would say because it's decreased, right? And you know the way to kind of calculate this. Really, you'd say okay, it's decreased by twenty, right? Can we can you see that? It's decreased by twenty in two years. So that's an average of decrease in 10 per year. Does that make sense? So the average growth rate here is you would guess a decrease of 10 per year because it's gone down 20 in two years. But the way to completely calculate that is you would take 945 and subtract the take the new value, subtract the old value 965 and divide that by the number of years which is 98 minus 96, right? So actually calculating is the slope if you've taken algebra classes. This is the slope of a line. So in any case, 945 minus 965 is a, a little number minus a big number. We're in debt where it's negative 20 over 2, right? And that gives us, of course, the negative 10. Okay. So what's the um, average growth rate from 98 to 2000? Can you calculate that? We've gone from 945 to 955. Is that an increase or a decrease? Increase or a decrease? <coughs> That's an increase, right? Well, it's up by 10 in two years. So that's an average of how much per year? Average of increase of five per year. So the average growth rate is five students per year, right? And the way to fully calculate that would be to go with the 955 minus 945 all over the 2000 minus 1998. So if you want the full calculation, that's how you do it. And that gives you 10 over 10 students, positive 10 students over 2 years. So that's a positive 5. Okay. So see if you can calculate the average growth rate for the next time periods. So we've got uh, 2000. To 02, we've got 02 to 05, we've got 05 to 2010, and we've got 2010 to 2013. Okay, press pause and see if you can do the rest of them. Press pause and do them all yourself.
Okay, I hope you've given it a good try anyway. I hope you've pressed pause and tried tried your best at least. So for 2000, 2002, we go from 955 to 955, and if we calculate that in 02 to 2000 is two years again, we get 0 over 2, which of course is 0. So the increase, the growth rate is 0 or plus 0 or whatever. It's just 0, right? So you can just put zero there. And the, the, I, I just put the positives because it distinguishes from the negatives. But you don't have to put the positives in there. Whichever you prefer. Now, from 02 to 05, it's 955 to 1045. Can you calculate the average growth rate there? If you haven't got this, try it again. Try, try it again if you haven't got this yet. Press pause and try it. Okay, I'll try it now. So. 1045 to minus 955 in how many years? Oh, 02 to 05 is 3 years, right? So we get, subtract this in your calculator, and you might get 90 over 3, which gives 30. So from 02 to 05, that's an average of an increase of 30 students per year, right? How about 05 to 2010? Press pause and do the next period, and then do pr press pause and do the next one. Okay, I hope you've tried them. I'm going to do them real quick now. So 05 to 2010, we've got um, 1,230 students in 2010, and we had 1,045 in, in 2005, so we subtract 1,045. How many years is that? Five years, right? So take out your calculator. 1, 2, 3, 0, oh, minus 1,045. Oh, press enter. We get 185 over 5. So, so divide that. Divide by 5. And we get 30. Seven. So this is an increase of 37 students per year in this time period. Now from 2010 to 2013, what did you get? Press pause and do this one if you haven't done it yet. Press pause and try this one. Okay, I'll help you with it now. So this one, um, uh, let's see, where will I write it? I'll just write it. I'll just write it here. So this one we go from, we, we, we started with 1230 and we ended up with 1164. So that's a decrease, isn't it? So 1164 minus the old enrollment of 1230 in how many years? 2010, 2013, in three years, that should give a negative number, right? So 1164 minus 1230 is that, and then divide that by 3, so we get negative 66, divide that by 3, that's negative 22, a, a, a growth of negative 20 students per year, or basically a drop in enrollment of 22 students per year. Okay. Now we're going to use these numbers to figure to answer the question here. So we've got this, we'll start with interpolation, use interpolation to estimate enrollment in all these years. By all means, if you think you have all this stuff figured out, press pause and try it yourself and then check your answer. But I'm going to go nice and methodically and nice and slowly for uh, everybody who, uh, just to make sure everybody's understanding what's going on. Okay? So, but at any point in these videos, just press pause and try it yourself and see if you get the right answer. That's the best way to learn, to try it yourself. Okay? And then, of course, play the video and check your answer. So, we got 1997. Use interpolation to estimate enrollment in 1997. I'm just going to start with that one, right? Now, um, 97, where does that occur? That occurs after 96 and before 98. So that's in this time period here. From 96 to 98, the average growth rate of enrollment at this school was, it was dropping by 10. Okay? So can you figure out 97? Press pause and try it yourself. Do you remember how to do it? Or just take a guess. Just take a guess. What do you think it was? 
It was 965 in 1996. It was 945 in 1998. Take a quick guess. What do you think? Well, wouldn't you kind of guess? Well, that kind of must be uh, 955 students, right? And, I mean, one way to do it is say, okay, we began with 965 and 96, and it's the average growth rate in this period was it was dropping by 10 per year, so, you know, you subtract 10, and that gives you the 955, okay? How about 1999? In fact, you can take a guess on that one, too. Uh, simple enough numbers. We went from 945 students in 98 to 955 in the year 2000. What do you think the answer is here? Estimate the enrollment in 99. Well, the enrollment seems to be going up. It went up by 10 in two years, and we figured that to be 5 per year. So, one year after 98, you would just go 945, right? Plus 5. 950 would be the answer, right? A good estimate using interpolation. How about 2001? Write down the answer. 2001, what do you think? Two thousand one. In the year 2000, we were at 955, for sure. And then 2002, we were at 955 as well. The average growth rate was zero. Didn't increase at all. So 955 plus zero, basically. It would stay at 955, would be a good guess. It probably stayed at 955, or around there, right? Now, how about 2003? And 2004? and all the rest. Well, let's do 2003. Press pause and try that one. Two thousand and three. Um, yeah, okay, so that's in this period, 02 to 05. And in 2002 we had 955, right? And 03 is just one year after 2002 and there's a growth rate of 30 right does that make sense so it's this period here there's a growth rate of 30 per year so plus 30 gives us 985 would be a good guess what about 2004 what would you guess for 2004 First of all, where are we starting with? Let me just block everything else off. We're st 2004, let me put it this way. In 2000, it's this period, it's from 02 to 05, okay? In 2002, we started with 955, right? And the growth rate in this period was 30 students per year, right? And 2004 is two years after 2002, isn't it? So how about uh, 955 plus two years, and the, we're, we're increasing by 30 students per year, so plus two times 30, right? And that would be 955 plus 60, which would be 1015, right? How about an estimate for 2007? 2007 is 2007 is this time period. You know what? Let me just try and do something here. Something clever. There we go. That'll be alright. Okay. Okay, that's better. Okay, so we're going to use interpolation to estimate the enrollment in 2007. What period is that in? Where does that occur? Over here, 05 to 2010. Right? What's the growth rate? 
growth rate is 37 students per year, isn't it? Okay. What did we have in 05 at the beginning of that period? In 05 we had 1,045 students. The enrollment increased, right? How many years after 2005 is 2007? It's increasing by 37 students per year and 2007 is two years after 05, so we're going to guess two of these 37s will add on, right? To the enrollment in 2005, just to make a quick guess. And that'll give us 1045 plus, we're going to guess 2 times 37 of course is uh, 74, so we're going to guess is an extra 74 students, which gives 9 and 1, carry the 1, 1, 1,119, isn't it? Nine. Yep. So, how about 2009? What per what time period is that? It is 05 to 2010, 2005 to 2010, right? What was the enrollment at the beginning of the period? At the beginning, in 2005, the enrollment was 1,045 students. Okay. How many years after 2005 is this year? All right, an enrollment increase in this period, right? So it's four years after. So we're going to add on four 37s to make an estimate. Does that make sense? And then just calculate that. That's probably 148, is it? And I should probably use a calculator. I might make a mistake. 1045 plus 148, 1193, right? So that's our estimate for 2009. How about 2011? Or, uh, you know what, I'm going to change that to 2012. It makes it more interesting. Okay, estimate 2012. Press pause and do the whole thing yourself. Use interpolation to estimate the enrollment in 2012. Okay, I hope you've pressed pause and tried it. I'm going to help you now. So, what time period is this? It's between 2010 and 2013, right? 2010, 2013. So, it began in 2013. We ha in 2010 we had 1,230 students. Did we have an increase or a decrease in the students? Well, obviously it's decreased, right? So decreased. How many years after 2010 is 2012? How many years after 2010 is 2012? It's two years, right? So remember, I just changed that example to 2012, just to make it a little bit more interesting, right? So two years, and it's decreased by 22 per year, right? So that's our calculation. We're dropping two of these 22s, right? So 1230 minus 44 equals um, 1186 probably, is it? So our estimate for 2012 is 1186 students, right? Okay, so now we're going to use extrapolation. I'm going to estimate enrollment in 2014. So the first thing to figure out is what time period are you going to use for that? Are you going to go all the way back to, for example, 2002 to 2005, when it increased by 30 students per year? Would that be a smart thing to do? Well, probably not. I mean, if you're asking about 2014, the first place you want to look is, you know, what's been happening recently? Recently, enrollment has been decreasing, right? So, it's to make a quick guess, if everything stays the same, it's probably going to decrease again in the next year. Does that make sense? So, extrapolation means using the most recent data. So, ignoring everything here, ignore all of that, just use the most recent data and make a quick guess. 
to say, well, okay, college president says, right, enrollment is decreasing. If everything stays the same, if we don't change anything, it's probably going to decrease by about the same amount next year. Okay? So, we have um, decreasing by about 22 per year, right? Now, in uh, 2013, we have 1,164 students. That's 2013. And we're decreasing by 22 per year. 2014 is one year after 2013, isn't it? So we just subtract 22. And we get 1, 1, uh, 4, 2, right? An estimate for 2014. What about 2018? Use extrapolation to estimate enrollment in 2018. Press pause and do that. Did you try it? I hope you pressed pause and tried it at least. So extrapolation means give it just a basic estimate and just use the most recent data. Ignore the fact that, you know, enrollments being what went down here, went up here, stayed the same, went up, went up, went down. Ignore all of the past, just use the most recent data, which is the fact that in the last three years it's been decreasing by twenty two per year. Right? Twenty two students per year. So we're just going to use that. And we're going to say, okay, 2013, we've got 1,164 students. Enrollment is decreasing. How many years after 2013 is 2018? Five years, isn't it? And it's decreasing by 22 students per year, right? So that gives us 1162 minus 5 times that is 110, which gives us 1. Zero five two, right? So that's an estimate. College president says, "Okay, if we keep going at this rate, by 2018, our enrollment will be a thousand and fifty-two students." Okay. Now, give an estimate for 2073. Press pause and do that one. Once again, just look at the most recent data. In 2013, we had 1,164 students. The enrollment is decreasing. How many years after uh, 2013 is that? Well, 2073 minus 2013, of course, gives 60 years. So minus 60 times, if it keeps going like this, 22 students per year. Okay, so I'll do that. 60 times 22. Yeah. So we get 1164 minus 1320, which gives us 156 students. So we have done some magic here and predicted that in the year 2073 we'll have negative 156 students enrolled in the college. Now, how many ridiculous uh, things have we said? I mean, how ridiculous is that statement exactly? And in how many ways? Can you have negative students in a college? No. Right? So automatically that's a ridiculous uh, assumption, a ridiculous calculation. Um, you know, before that happens the college would be closed with zero students obviously. Enrollment probably won't keep decreasing like that. It might actually go back up. I mean if you look at the past history it's been going down and up and stayed the same and up, up and down. It'll probably go back up again, who knows. So it, it, this is very ridiculous. What are, why why is what are we doing that's so silly here in this in this particular world? What's so silly about this? Well, we're trying to predict something sixty years into the future. I mean, that's kind of crazy, first of all, especially based on this little bit of data here that. Oh, it's decreased slightly in the last three years, so it's going to keep going, and then six years' time, we'll, 
like you know, will have or or even less than six years time, there'll be no students at all. So basically, it's not a good idea to use extrapolation to try and guess something way off into the future because you're going to come up with. I mean, who knows? Sure, all colleges might be, you know, closed completely by then. Or maybe the college will have tripled in size in 60 years time. It, it's it's hard to tell, right? So we don't ever use extrapolation going way off into the future because it, it, it it's very uh, unpredictable and it, it's not a good good estimate at all.